Hey guys, I really wanted to share this video with you despite not having much of a voice right now. Um, my Acaras have bred again and uh, they have viable babies now. So I decided just to make them their own tank because, uh, you know, since the babies were alive this time and not all moldy like last time, let's give them a chance to be good parents um so yeah i transferred them in this 15 gallon in which previously i had my flower horn which is still um in the frontosa tank and not having any fights with them so that's a good thing uh they initially laid on this uh conch conch the the big seashell <laughs> on the side of it but the moment i put them in this tank the male started making holes all over the substrate and uh, the next day they transferred the babies in this hole here and this morning I wake up and all the baby wigglers are right here um, I don't know if I can show you properly or oops I hope you can see this like moving little dots with little eyes um, it's very hard because it's a bow front tank so I hope you can see clearly or at least a little bit what I'm talking about. Uh, so yeah, there's like hundreds of babies right now and they're all viable and uh, the parents are going nuts on me right here. They're like, all right, get out, get out. So yeah, I'm just running a really small bubble filter, bubble sponge filter. And um, I hope um, they'll continue to take good care of the babies. I'm already hatching some brine shrimp them um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna start feeding them the moment they're free swimmers if you have any experience with uh, South Americans or Central American cichlids uh, please share with me uh, when I should remove the parents if I should just leave them in uh, my gut feeling tells me I should just leave them in for like a good few weeks to a month um, but I mean if I mess it up I'm sure they're gonna do it again so <laughs> it's not a big problem uh, but I was really surprised how they were making like those holes in the substrate and you know normally they would just put from one flat surface to another flat surface but these guys I don't know it's very strange and new to me that they made those holes in the substrate and put all their babies in that bunch see how cute this is oh so yeah share with me your experience uh, if you ever bred these guys uh, so far, so good. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.